hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at Christmas baubles and we're going to look at two ways in which you can decorate them. So there's lots of ways you can decorate Christmas baubles. We're going to be exploring this. Uh, we have got some from last year. If you go to playlists and you go to Christmas, you'll see some of last year's Christmas baubles. We're going to be doing different techniques this year. We're going to be using things like inks uh, and just kind of just change it up a little bit but I wanted to start the kind of Christmas season with glittering some baubles and we're also going to use some pixie powder as well. I've got two glass baubles and I've got two plastic baubles as well. So I've always had two kind of go-to's when it comes to decorating my baubles with glitter and things like that. Two kind of adhesives that I've always used. The first is Glitter It and the second one is Floor Varnish. However, this year I have found this which is Ornament Glitter Adhesive and it's actually by DecoArt and I have to say it is superb. I am absolutely in love with this stuff. It's not patchy, which is something I really like. And the thing that I really love about it is it's a milky colour. So when you're putting it on your bauble, it leaves a milky residue. So you can see exactly where you are coating. When it dries, it dries clear, so you don't notice that. But with some of the other ones, they are clear when you put them in the bauble. So trying to actually see where you've gone, depending on the light, can be really tricky. This stuff I find absolutely fantastic. So I've got my first glass bauble here and I've got my ornament glitter adhesive and I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna squirt the adhesive into the bauble. I'm then gonna put my thumb over it and I'm just going to start moving the liquid all the way around and as I say it's got a milky kind of consistency to it so you can definitely see where it's coating. Once you're satisfied the entire inside of your bauble is coated we're then just going to pour the excess back into the jar so for glittering, I always use Nouveau Pure Sheen Glitter. This is my go-to glitter and I absolutely love it. So you should really use a funnel, but I don't have one and every time I say I'm going to get one, I forget. So I'm just going to use a piece of paper to decant my glitter onto it and then I'm going to put it in my bauble. Now I'm very generous with my glitter. As long as you remove the excess liquid from your bauble, you'll be able to place your glitter back in the pot. If you've got still an excess in the bauble, then you're going to want to decant the glitter onto a piece of paper and then you can remove the bits that have been touched by the liquid. So I'm just going to make a funnel with my paper and I'm going to start putting my glitter in. We can then get our bauble and again we're going to place our thumb over and we're going to give it a really really good shake and we're going to cover the whole bauble with the glitter. We can then get our glitter pot and we're just going to decant the excess glitter back into it. And we're going to be using some of the Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder. This stuff is so so beautiful and it gives such a lovely effect in baubles. My only complaint is that sometimes, or not sometimes, all the time, after a puff or two, this becomes blocked so have a pin on hand because you are going to want to go in there and just unblock them between every few puffs. So I've got my plastic bauble and I've got my ornament glitter adhesive so exactly the same process I'm just going to squeeze that in there. I'm going to get my thumb and I'm going to coat the entirety of the inside of my bauble. Now we've decanted most of it, but we have left just a little liquid puddle in there. Um, I always find that that works best with the pixie powder. So I'm going to get my red pixie powder and I'm just going to squeeze a few puffs 
into my bauble. And then I'm just going to start moving it around. Then I'm going to get a little bit more of my adhesive. And again, I'm just going to start moving that. And then I'm going to come in with the gold. And just spray that in there. And I'm just going to keep moving it all around. And of course it's going to be completely unique because of the colours you use and then the pattern will be completely unique. So it's a great way to create unique baubles. to my layering technique in the description below I'm just going to transfer this the way I usually would however I am going to use paper transfer tape the reason for this is we're going to cut into it paper transfer tape is not reusable whereas normal transfer tape is so we don't want to ruin our normal transfer tape so this is the method that I always use on a curved surface. You can see I'm coming in and I am using my scissors to snip lines all the way around my image into my transfer tape. And I use this method for any curved surface. So whether it be balloons, whether it be baubles, glass, vases, whatever it may be, if it's curved, this is the technique that I use and I try and snip as close to the vinyl as I can. Come and place it onto my bauble and I always pat down the middle first and then I'll start working outwards. You can see that because our transfer tape has the slits in it, our image is just wrapping itself around the bauble. This is exactly what we want. Now, if the transfer tape starts to go over each other or bulk, that's absolutely fine. We don't mind that because it's actually curving around the bauble. What we want is our vinyl to be flush to the bauble and this will really help to do that. Go in with our scraper and just start working our vinyl to our bauble. I always use the flat edge of my scraper as I find this works really well. Come in and we can start removing our transfer tape. Because it's paper transfer tape, you can just tear it off in strips. And I find that this is super easy to do, especially with working with something like a balloon. Uh, this makes life so much easier just to be able to tear off strips. For any other more pieces you want to add in, you can individually come in and place those. If they're small like this one, you don't need to add the snips. It's only for larger items. exactly the same method for text now text is slightly better because you can get deeper snips in so you can see I'm going right to the middle of either side and I am obviously leaving a gap but only a small gap because I want this to move as much as it can so I'm going to go all along the sides and then I'm going to go top and bottom with my snips as well and again, if I can get in between the text, that makes life a little bit easier. Placed it where I want it to go. I'm going to just come in and I'm going to pat down all the middle pieces first. And then again, I'm going to go down all the sides. And I just keep doing this. I always go in initially with my finger. Again, if the paper transfer tape overlaps slightly or it pinches slightly, it's fine. Just let it fall where it naturally wants to fall. It will allow the vinyl to go around your bauble or any curved surface and it will look naturally the way it's supposed to. Just keep kind of going with it. Just follow the way in which the transfer tape wants to fall. 
once you've pressed it down you can go in with your scraper and really work your vinyl then you can start peeling off your transfer tape <laughs> 